Besides the noise, the noise of the airport, this place right here now is special. The modern world will try to impose, but it could never really replace what is rooted here. We evolved in trees. We used to live in trees. I can understand the, uh, the thrill of, of being high in a plane also. Uh, we get high in trees. Harv Teitelbaum loves to see life. You want to swing a little bit? From a unique perspective. He founded Tree Climbing Colorado. It's one of a few of the recreational technical tree climbing schools in the country. Mitch Magnovitz now owns it. You all ready to learn about the parts of the climbing system? Yes. Today, okay. a group of kids from Adams well, Camp, a special there. needs therapy program. One more time. Get to learn uh -oh. the ropes. Frankly, I believe it's our evolutionary heritage to go up into the trees. People that just enjoyed being in the outdoors, wanted a different vantage point, wanted to get to experience trees. So it's kind of a magical place. Magic may have something to do with it. How is it? Fun. Because even the most reluctant I don't is, want to do it. wait, 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 just listen for a second, are charmed. back out there and I noticed that it was actually really fun. Oh, my back feels amazing. I feel like it just makes me feel pretty free and open. Feels good. It feels good. As you start getting up higher, it, it, you know, you experience your surroundings a little differently. That's how Mitch and Harv Bunk. want to keep it. It may or may not be, but I promise it'll be a good time. They know, for so many, this is more than a fun day spent in the woods. How was it? That was good. Because when life makes us feel small, it's best to try a different view. I think there's real science in what's happening neurologically there that shifts that through our change in literal visual perspective. The modern world intrudes in many ways, but um, that doesn't mean we can't grab onto uh, those parts that are still special. Magnavis says they also work with parks and rec departments around the area to coordinate community climbs. No experience necessary to join. Climbing events are usually about two hours long.